Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen, our second HQ assault. Well, that's gonna be a dicey one. We've got 43 to 45 enemies. And uh, hopefully our squad can handle that. We've got a bunch of Gauss cannons here. One of my favorite weapon sounds in the game. The area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. I've heard some people complain that the Gauss cannons are a little bit too loud, but um, no. There's no such thing as too loud weapon. Well, Position confirmed. certainly too loud voice packs. Anyway. Let's do a little bit of scouting. It's, uh, like, um, I'm always torn about uh, having a start position on top of a, a building, which, you know, is fantastic for being in a position where you can just uh, stop blasting, right? Your, your snipers are in a good spot. But that usually means um, everything feels a little bit more cramped in the actual base itself, and you might run into multiple pots at once. I need to kind of take a take a lay of the lands. Yeah, I think I'll bring Daddy home somewhere over here. Is that safe? Going back there? Yeah, sure. Pronto. Let's get you over on that side. Already there. Yes, 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 yes. I shall win your battle shortly. Roland. Moving on target location. Then start steady up and probably never move our snipers again. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Okay, I'm gonna have um, Andy scout in this direction here and then Daddy home. Going on the building on the right. Let's see what we find. I did hear some turrets at the start when loading in, which of course HQ always has turrets. Just gotta find out where. Understood. Moving out. Looks like hostiles over here. Ah. Is that a assault mag? It is. Alright. Hmm. I guess you keep an eye on that. It's a reasonable first engagement group, let's say. Sounds like a plan. Usually, ideally, I would want to have the first group be like a... Um, like a... Like a Rainbow pot, right? So we do have the whole thing here with, with planning fire, right? And I actually also would want to check what the definitely don't want to use it from a different elevation. I did buy Shadow Strike. Now we do have phantoms, we could just stay concealed for the first engagement. And use a rocket opening. Have a look in. We have two shredders and a phosphorus. Probably want to keep one shredder rocket for the general pot, so using one shredder rocket to open up on this group seems like a reasonable idea. Alright, you know, let's get Chris down here. He wants to be closer. You steady up. I shall win your battle shortly. Alright, let's just see where they move. I hope they come a little bit in this direction. But knowing my luck, they will walk away from me. No? Oh. Hello. So those are two groups then. That's not a great group to, like, 
Yeah, taking out that assault mag might be nice, but three enemies is not what I want to um, use my ambush on. Like, my, my stance is always your first ambush from consumer, and this is one of your strongest, strongest tools on most missions. So you want to make good use of it. Like one of the reasons why you can do a eight people against forty five people mission. Raiders roll. Let's make these guys sorry they showed now up. That's the rainbow part. Okay. What if we reposition to bring everybody over to this building? This is option in this direction and this direction. Yeah, come on. I think we'll start moving. On it. Go, go, go. And of course, depends a little bit on what the enemy will do here. Right from here, and having snipers here and shooting in this direction might not be terrible, although a little bit exposed to this. I think I'll leave the snake here and bring Stepping off. sharpshooter over to the side. Scoot you in just a little bit. Alright. It didn't show me where those guys went, so oh, I guess I did I have line of sight. Are you telling me that this detection tile... What? What? Which unit is that even from? On the move. I mean, I know that Max have increased detection range, right? If they don't have a... Um... I'm Gremlin or Spark equipped, but ah, and this is taking the this is taking the cake here. What does that even work? Keep an eye on those guys. Affirmative. Covering now. Yeah, that's the group of three we were seeing, so that's not the rainbow pot actually. Mm. 
really like to open up on the on the big group of eight. And I lost track of them though. Sounds like a plan. Which surprisingly is uh, detrimental if you want to ambush them. Is that is that you? All right, sell me. Let's make these guys sorry they showed. No, oh, that's a se separate group again. Another group of three. Just checking if I have potential re reposition options there. I think, I think you're better off well, up top. Surprise detection tile. That is that the other the group of eight? Well, that's an officer, but I don't think I saw any officers in those three men groups. So risky. I kinda wanna keep an eye on the officer. But also keep seeing that command over here. Am I gonna attack this turn? Probably not. Oblivion awaits. Whatever's clever. Like this stuff, right? Low HP Guardian Gunner. I think if we can get our our Walmart saturation fire, which seems to have a much much smaller cone than uh, regular saturation fire, but if we can get that in there, I think that can be a lot of work done for us. Right, let's get you there. Let's get you up top. You stay there. I don't trust any detection tails safe with you. Or do I? This is this is the the, the group we're looking for. Roll. 
Okay. I have a fairly good vision over here now, so I'm actually going to move Andy back right to this side. Keep an eye on everything that happens here. You might notice that I often leave my shinobi at the end of the turn in my corner cover positions. Uh, all sides are covered. Risk of, of getting revealed by the enemy is fairly low. So I think keeping your, your scout concealed on these missions is probably the biggest game changer. Like if your if your scout gets revealed, the mission gets a whole a whole bunch harder. This is so weird. Uh, I guess this box here and the wing is making me um, disappear from sight here. On the move. Just circle back around there. Okay. Don't see them. Don't. It doesn't matter. All right. Okay, it's certainly not saturation fire, because it doesn't even have the range, but um, we'll see how it goes. The great thing is, oh, I was about to get some myself, right, but um, Dynafire costs two actions. No, I'm not getting the priest. Are you getting the priest? No. Well, we'll see. I think we can probably snipe the priest from here, but you don't have to meet the target. We'll see where it goes. Alright. Ghetto saturation fire. Go. I'm okay with that outcome. This will make leveling up um, a Dragoon Officer so much easier. Ah, that was fun. Okay, we had a group of three over here, and that group of three over here. Um, right, can I see it for me? Kind of, not really. They are not even on alert. They don't know what happened here. Okay, you can overwatch, guys. Just gonna do go in here. Oh, we even we have a ghost grenade. We can do this a second time. I was complaining for a long time, oh, Dragoons can equip cannons, but nobody does it, because what's the point? Um, Moving to designated position. Finally, finally, a, dragoon, a, a worthy reason to give a cannon to a Dragoon. Okay, these guys. Sniper Medic Commando. I think we're just gonna... Just gonna bop them here. Um, sniper? Sniper. In this way, the sniper becomes the sniped. That's actually going to be a tricky one to 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 get out of there. What about you? 
We got 95 on this guy. Okay, so I got one. That looked uncomfortable. Don't think I wanna somehow. Well, I can't get a skull jack in there, even if I try it. Hmm. I think collateral damage, but we're not gonna hit anything there. First things first. That activates two drones. Okay. Hiding again inside there. I'm concerned about the microwave mech showing back up. Yeah, I want to break line of sight of the commando, and I wanna. If the command comes forward, he should be shooting at my at my mech here. Got it. Moving. Ideally. Inset, you're a little bit exposed there in the half cover. Holding position. Deflect. Take a fire over here. Now, what's my what's my range on rockets? Would be better. Um, okay, I wanna I wanna see what's happening back there. So we're gonna shadow. I'm gonna I don't know. Gonna hop up here. Is that gonna be close enough to actually see those guys? Might not be. There's the box there. That's the, going to be the other wing. Might have to be here. Anytime you're ready. There's a turret here. We do have Silent Killer. So if we kill somebody here, uh, it's going to be silent. Yeah. Um, you see all of them. What about you? You do some, not a single soul. I could grapple you here, and then you see the bio dude. I could grapple you here, then you see nobody. Well, those are easy options, I would say. So I could grapple you here, delete the target on the bio dude. I think we snipe the sectoid.
Yeah, I think that's an that's a that's an option. Going up. Roots of the zombie. One down, thousands to go. Oh, that frost purifier position now. That frost purifier. What a move. Can we collateral your cover? Yes. That's I think I will I'll guard. It destroys his, his full cover and damages him to get rid of his evasive modifier. Exactly. I hate the, the, the Reaper zoom in thing. I can't see my damage numbers. I was a death dealer crit. Must have been a huge number. I can't even see it to, to be happy about the number. So only took two ammo. And that's a fairly short cooldown compared to Saturation Fire. And once you have Stealth Protocol, you can Stealth yourself to do that multiple times. Let's first of all get some ice back here again. Making sure I'm not running into any surprises. Okay, so I'm thinking in that case... I'll run you here. You get a vigilant overwatch. I'd be very unlucky if that Frost Purifier runs exactly next to Daddy Home to reveal, yeah. Yeah, Overwatch is from there. No. Oh. That thing has only nine health. That's is that even a heavy turret? Oh, you don't see this thing though. And so can you go to a position where you can get land aside on the turret? You cannot. Well, no, you can. But want to be there? Maybe.
there's loot there. And it was sectoid loot, so that's Moving. good chance to be an Illyrian core. So we we got to make moves to pick that up. Still know that there was a group of three somewhere in this direction, right? So it's kinda I'll try. start taking cover in that direction. All right, you bastards, let's see what you got. Oblivion awaits. Uh, I'm going. Scanning. I hope it's worth it. Roger, Holden. I'm gonna lose Shadow here in a second. Alright, so some enemy is somewhere in this radius. Because otherwise you cannot target these gas tanks and stuff. What am I doing with this? Miss a bit, son. Fascinating. Oh, there. Okay, so maybe maybe we swing back over here. Go, go, go. Let's get this show on the road. Let me too. you somewhere where I can actually fire that rocket. So I still think I'm going. Still think that's the right call here. What's over there? Even if it's just a group of three, that the salt mech might take a little bit of work. Sure. I'll do a song and dance for you. I'm generally just trying to fall back from this side a little bit. Less chance to get activations on both ends, yeah. All set. You don't have shots over there. You don't have shots over there. Whatever you say. Yes, 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 yes. I shall win your battle shortly. All right, I'll go. Ah, uh, I'm going. That's so convenient. <laughs> Only on HQ, you always have to run around the back, and it's like uh, you can barely get to the other side of this. All right. Yeah, uh, I think you shield there. Have a decent, decent eye on these guys. Uh, what's my timer here? I can shadow next turn. Heading to that location. I'm on it. We're green to go. In I don't position. mind a reasonable amount of trouble. I'm moving that one tile to the side. Must be another side on those guys. 
Now, if you all want to group up. They did all group up, but not in a way that I like. Unless there's a magical, magical rocket that I can get all the way over there. It's like... There better be something there. Well, there's something there. Trust me on that. Uh, yeah. There we can do that. A bunch of angry enemies all the way across over there. Need to command for that, right? If I am that rocket this inaccurate, makes very little sense. Is a chance then also where I could just say, you know what, we have a ghost grenade. Up Reaper, Andy cleans that up after the Shredder Rocket. We just ghost grenade him, forget about a second saturation fire. Might be a reasonable way to, to handle this. Um, Because they don't have line of sight on anyone right now, I don't think the mech will go into Overwatch. So I wish I had German rockets, then this whole thing could be so much easier. Also, I know heavy skid blast off and all that that stuff, right? Where you don't need fire in the hole, but yeah, oh, it's not good. Didn't take hit either of the max. I think we only hit two snakes there. Interestingly enough, it didn't activate the chrysalid group. Because I think the only one we hit is the Frost Viper and we don't actually see it. For whatever reason. Well. Stop, won't stop. Your name shall be stricken from memory. Same put. Back online. Good thing I screwed that one. Should have reloaded first because now I lost my steady bonus. Um, well, you only see the mech, so you finish that. Well, that was good enough for you. Didn't need that rocket anyway. Yeah, at this point, I actually don't want to get you revealed. Overwatch. And I 
you know, at this point, I'm fairly confident that we don't need you active. So we can set up for another saturation fire on a later group. And also do a little bit careful scouting. Now, it's not ideal scouting because of the whole... The whole problem with um, the detection range with a cannon class, but yeah, it's fine. Sounds like a plan. First question is going to be, yeah, you see one, you see one, you see that one, check that first, you see a different one, okay, 13 health, there you go. On health. All right. Uh, oh yeah, you are kind of out of ammo now. Can move up to a position where you see both of them. That's fantastic. Alright, no pressure. Just gotta hit this thing now. We kid. We kid. Yeah, so about that. It's just a regular teamwork. So we can't take a second shot from that. So we either have your overwatch. Or we command somebody to take another shot here. Which can just... Well, can be either of you. You have, I think, better aim. Yeah, one better aim. Oh, I go in for the slice, which I like the least here. That's the one downside, you know, bring a relatively low officer, we have two commands. I just don't want to take the gamble. Chrysalid runs up, we missed the overwatch, and he just eviscerates Betty on. Alternative, can you, you move up and shoot this thing? No. Come on, focus. Well, that's not going to help either. So 20 enemies out there. It will be in the command pod. These two more drones, that's 10. We saw three. 
Then you usually have a mutant group somewhere. I think we can do it without scouting. I think I'd rather give up scouting than get an SD injury here. We still have scouting via um, Phantom and the limited scouting that we can do without Dragoon. Well, we lots of scouting protocol, right? So it's not just. You've got to be joking. There's the Mutant Group. Like clockwork. All right, you know what? Phantom. I need to get full overview of them. Please. Heading your way now. Go, go, go. Getting it done. I'm all over it. And I risk going back here. You get a shot from here, but this is such a such a limited field of fire. Solid copy. You're gonna have like the tower in the way, this tower in the way, this is just gonna be awful. Get me up there. Oh, activating? Activating, okay. Not expecting that activation. I'm not even sure who they saw. What if Mr. Suppressor no, no, does not get a little bit of hmm. I can handle that. I think we do this. Tell me I can't hit the, the Centurion. Alright, so what do we see? See the big boy? We have a good flank on this guy. What do you see? You see nothing. That's not great. It's certainly less than what I want to see. Yeah, so I'm thinking. You're just gonna shoot that guy. Reload first. Damn it. Never gonna learn, hmm?
don't think I bought upgraded throwing knives, no. So, got fairly little value out of that skill so far. Um, anyway. All day long. Come here. And kill the Centurion. I think I don't start with Protect on Self, right? I never, you know, there's so many classes that work similarly, so I can't remember which start with this stuff and which get it later. Okay. Hmm. What was not the greatest. So so my idea is here to attack the Berserker. Puts me next to this guy so I can parry him. I can't parry well, I can parry both in the same turn, the chances are not fantastic. Um I don't have a command and I Obviously, don't want to use up my concealment if I can avoid it. There's no way I can get you in poison spit range. I would hit the berserker and would lower his aim. Giving Andy a better chance to actually get attacks off on both of them. Like even the blade storm might just might just kill the muton. So I only have to do one parry. Wish I had concentration. Alright, let's sneak in there. So he's poisoned. We're gonna suppress him. He has like 35 aim. I think that's fairly reasonably safe. Well, maybe not reasonable. I mean, I could also, in addition to that, give him a bonk of a shield. That should disorient him. Oh, also, no, stuns him, alright? That, you know, that works even better. Except, you know... <laughs> we knocked him back so hard that that removed the cover that Andy had here from that side. We've done something with the teamwork here. So if I suppress him, he can't use his melee attack. Like I'd rather have him charge at me and then get blade stormed and parried, and then if I suppress him, he might just stand still and shoot. 
So I think we're just gonna move up and overwatch. Yes, 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 yes. I shall win your battle shortly. Steady you here. And you watch in horror from the sidelines. I know it shows the shot animation, but this was actually a waste of time and melee attack, which we countered then with we combatives. Alright, um, uh, this went no problem, boss. way better than expected. Core. Fantastic. Alright, so 30 enemies, which is the general part, two drones, the group of three we've seen. Catch up with the rest of the group at this stage. Raiders roll. Yippee Seems doable. Scouting. Yeah, your mobility is not the greatest for scouting, Damn. but hey, How many are there? that's all we needed from you here. You have line of sight on both, you have line of sight on neither. Okay. I can bring you up here. Said he was the lead, and lead the target on the hunter drone, yeah. And then you shoot the surveillance drone. I mean, you gotta get the loot, even if it's just a drop from a drone. We can also do some scouting here with Shadow. Um, I think so there was a group of three, right? I'm not making that up. Like a advanced officer and something else. Purifier. Like old times. I can handle that. 
Stepping off. Yes, 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 yes. I shall win your battle. Shortly. All right, I'll go. At this stage, yeah. Let's let's start bringing you guys up to. Rolling out. Concerned that something here is trying to sneak past our flank. No, I'm going to check out that old base in the cliffs. All right, so we have a turret here. Um, if you find a building with the turret at the back of the map, that's the building where the general and his group is. So what I'm trying to do here with Daddy Home is using his scouting and also has um, tracking to make sure there are no enemies here. So we can probably bring our snipers onto this building. All day long. Right, that seems fairly clear. No problem, boss. Field here. See how we approach this whole thing. Rolling out. Double time. So for some reason you can't. You were able to climb to the top of this tower, but for these towers you can't get to the top, which is. Very weird. On it. I'm on it. We still have our big old phosphorus rocket. Oh, not again. Sector group? I don't remember seeing that. This thing. Quick like. Three five. Yeah, misremember the amount of enemies on the map. I don't know. Oh, this this one you can get on top again. Right, what's the what's the deal with these two? What makes them different? Those are not super heavy turrets yet. Is actually kind of kind of nice. Good to go. It's <laughs> no denying that. How Location confirmed. Affirmative. Scanning. Fast. Yeah, I think we want to start picking off the turrets. Is it clear? It's not sixty-five. Okay. I can dig that. Like this group was uh, was moving fast, so they are on alert anyway. So I might as well. Not in that. Get a little kidding. dry over here. Mm. 
Yes, 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 yes. I shall win your battle shortly. So, here we have some tree cover, but I actually don't want to attack from this flank because our snipers are there, right? And engage from a different direction so that they make positioning errors and our snipers get flanks. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how this looks next turn. I'm on it. In position. There's the big group. Okay. Well, I think I think it's gotta be Cosmos Rocket. Let's go. Going hot. Oh, there's a big shieldy boy in there. Stodian. Oh yeah, everything's burning. Almost everything. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Right, he's immune to the poison, but he's still burning. Okay, we gotta, gotta pick off as many as we can now. Um, there are two guys in the back that are not burning, not on poison. So that's something to keep in mind of. And we have the turret here. Alright, so. I think you're actually in a good position to just remove the turret. Oblivion awaits. I mean, yeah, we need to kill the max, but we do have a shot on this guy. He also shouldn't move. Because he's in the middle of the poison cloud. Let's see first if other people can take care of the max. It's clear. If by other people, I mean. Just missing 94? Okay, oh, cool, 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 cool. In cover. Oh, you don't have line of sight. There, I don't like that. Uh, who do I even have left to shoot at the max? Well, that happened. I was getting ready for this also fading, fading two 94% shots, and then an 88% hack would have been a typical extra moment. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Okay. Well, you just gotta, you just gotta kill this guy and then move up. Okay, so I got one. That's right, fantastic. Um, 
think we want a shadow for the chance of a crit. Uh, more damage crit, that is. Now we have at least two or three guys in there. At least two or three. Um, so we see what four guys that are all burning on poisoned. So they are controlled. The mech is shut down. It still leaves five enemies unaccounted for where I don't know if they are on fire and or poisoned or if they just ran back in the building. So this is tempting, but this is, I think, too risky for now. Confirmed. Get in over here. Yeah. Big burn tick. Yes, okay, so that sector is definitely dead. An assault trooper in the back, so it's a poison and burning. Wonderful. The studian got the full treatment. Yeah, that means there's then what four guys? No, I didn't count this guy before. So three guys that are uninjured in the back. Your trooper is running straight through it, doesn't care. Alright, I think we just follow it up right away here with a shred shredder rocket. Which will destroy corpses. Man, we are we are ever vigilant here about this. Um Think we're gonna reaper and pick off those sectoids. I would hate to lose those corpses, even though it's kind of a waste here. Can't start with this. Let's start with the mech though. You got a Bosch. Right, can I make a detour to that stun lancer? Oh, yes, I can. Reaper is such a miss skill. Uh, here's a question. You guys are burning. Oh, you just you stop burning here in a second. I think I think I'll just um, uh, finish it off, moving over there. Okay, that works for me. Now, I think we're just gonna focus fire the general. And have pensive reload and unload. Go 
get him. I did say at the start of the mission that I really like the sound of the ghost cannon. Maybe unload might change that. We're done. <laughs> you know, this is a skill where uh, actually, um, what's it called? Oh, I, for I forgot you were supposed to to shredder rocket this guy. Uh, Rupture might suddenly gain value again. Like, Rupture has really fallen from grace for me. Right? So, like, I, I don't value it at all anymore. But... That seemed really like a good Rupture situation. Each shot plus free damage? Sure. Oh, that's a faceless, huh? So I can sacrifice, but I can't hit both of you, okay. Oh, we still have... Oh, I haven't used my sniper shots yet. We have the assault trooper back there. One, two, three, four, turret five. If you take down the turrets, one in the chamber. That beer by faces might be in range of Andy, which is not great. Um, I'm more concerned about the custodian. So I'm getting conflicting, conflicting information here. Target preview tells me if I move here, I see the custodian. But I don't get the targeting icon next to his name unless I move here. Who do I trust now? Shield charge that guy. I'm being range for this. Right, yeah, you know, okay. Let's bring in here. Ready. Take shot of this dude. If we crit, he's um, bye bye. If you don't crit, he's a worse. But hey, um, you have a good crit chance, thanks to Shadow Strike, so let's get rid of that. So this guy should die from the fire tick, or we get a Bladestorm attack against him. I don't need to shield charge him, I think I will just... Sacrifice. So move up. I do that with a single action. I can probably only reach here then. Should be enough. So I should be able to guard. 
sacrifice. Like, yeah, I can, I can, I can sacrifice over here. I don't think that's how it works. Um, so if the face is hits here, then it should redirect to me, or something like that. Oh, I've never used sacrifice before. Or maybe I have, but I barely remember it. Oh, that was a trial rocket here. Didn't even get a shot off. All right, cool. Gotta do better. Would like to use my Skulljack on this mission. I just don't think we get to. We're green to go. You are the only one who's steady right now. So you have the best shot on the assault trooper. Actually makes me happy. Did you see hmm. that one? That means that you are the last guy. Um, I'll take my usual end of the mission save in case there are any crashes. Then I can reload from here instead of having to replay the last turn. But I do have that new mod that is supposedly fixing all end of mission crash problems. Well, tries to do its best. Who's keeping Positive score? Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Good run, good run. What did you do with my Naja? You monsters. It seems to be not crashing. So it's either the mod or we got lucky. I think think the mod's doing a good job. I would like to the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. friend from the resistance is becoming one of our most trusted veterans. It's a testament to our cause. Our promotions all around. Love to see that. All right. We have here um, our sniper. We're going to take disabling shots because that's just super good. Gunner. So. We tested tested unload here and unload did did do some work 
Is it enough work that we can live without cyclic fire? You know, the desire, the unlimited, unmitigated desire to get a gunner cool under pressure kill zone again is just too high. So picking cool under pressure, or picking kill zone, sue me. Um, all right. Sensor overlays for more crit. Oh, I'm, I'm again not showing off the other options. Inspiration for dodge and will in, within 12 tiles. Or 10% crit for everybody. Against enemies that you can see. Or 10% smaller detection radius. Now, that might be interesting in order to get a little bit closer with that Shadow Strike. But I think, I think we're good. I think I'd rather have the guaranteed crit. Since I can't uh, get some because it requires two actions, right? Um, our Rocketeer can get stop at nothing. Whenever you enter Overwatch Expression, gain 20 defense and start up your next turn. Um, which is, by the way, way better than the, um, the PCS that gives you defense when on Overwatch because. You know, if you shoot while on overwatch and you overwatched and drops because you just took shot, you lose the defense. This gives you defense until the start of your next turn. Uh, and considering we have a Vigilant, might be tempting, but it's not as tempting as Javelin Rockets. Six tiles more range of rockets. Fire them beyond visual range. The absolute killer against unactivated pots. Um, and Blinding Fire is what our Jagoon was using there. So, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Our Assault Mech can get Lightning Strike. It's what I want to take, I think. Special Strike that does half damage, but grants a full action point after, after the attack. So it's a dash move, melee attack, punch somebody, still have an attack remaining, whenever you reach that target. So it's another good mobility skill and we need all the mobility we can get. Is that okay that we have 11 mobility? Spreader would have been nice, cool under pressure would have been nice, Rounded Bulwark. Yeah, it's, uh, it's also a skill in this row. Um, our Wanaja can get more damage against robotics. No scope. Taking shots with a single action point, which don't use squad side and can't crit. Nah. And enhanced spit for more spit damage. No. We're usually not in spitting range. And enhanced spit does nothing to the whole. Or oh, I spit on myself and get more aim, which we're not using really because steady is just more value. And then finally, we will pick up Whirlwind here, but we're gonna go, uh, as opposed to Hidden Run or Fate, but um, Shinobi has been reworked, and I've been looking forward to that, to trying that out. So um, let's immediately go into the barracks. Nice, nice fall here. Corpse-wise, not really anything super interesting. All right, bio I guess. Our first custodian. Um, so, if we do a respect selected soldiers, soldier, not rebuilt. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll write it myself. You can't just... Unfortunately, that rerolls our our bottom row, right? But um, we'll have to see what we do with that. So, um, Mini Shinobi has been mostly left the same, right? With Blade Master Combatters, Cutfrocked, Aid Storm, Reaper, Whirlwind. Double time. It's like exactly the same stuff. Um, I think the shooty shinobi with 
uh, impulse price, etc. Shadow step, evasive, hit and run, rapid fire is also kind of the same. What has been changed is this the, the stealthy stealthy um, way here. Shinobi no longer has watch and fire penalties with Overwatch and can crit, but can only watch over small regions. Oh boy. Is this, is this an Overwatch cone? The bane of tactical games. Um, Lightfoot, Shadowborn, Fate. And seal dead of night this is the big one right um hops and crit chance against enemies that do not see you plus one crit damage for every 20 percent of crit chance above one percent so this is um a skill you might remember from our bounty hunter um and the wording is very specific enemies that do not see you Use Nightfall to flank enemies and boost your damages. No, no, there's no Nightfall here. So the Bounty Hunter perk moved on to Shinobi. Um, also, first strike over here. Now, one use case for this would be um, if you're starting outside of their vision range and then just slice a bunch of enemies, right? With just just with your normal melee attack, guaranteed crits with increased crit damage. With also another fifteen percent crit chance from Shadowborn. Although at that point, like if you're melee attacking, you're probably better off with Cutthroat. Like, I get 50% crit chance and plus 2 critical damage instead of just the crit chance. Sure, you get the hit chance here too. Hmm. Now I say all of that, and at the same time I'm looking at my rerolled XCOM row with center mass and hunter's instincts, and I'm, I'm looking, looking over at the stats and I'm like, oh, but can I turn you into a shooting shinobi? Because holy crap, bring him on. What an XCOM row. Like, Scrounger is nice to have, and I like to pick that up, but it's, of course, not not a game changer. But Center Mars, bring them on. Hunter's Instinct. Scouting Report is also really good. So I'm torn between, hey, we need... We need Shinobi is mostly for concealment scouting, so he should be in concealment. I shouldn't even even consider a fighting spec. Like, just go melee, he can stay in concealment, come out of concealment to slice a few guys, but most of the time he's going to be stay uh, concealed. Um, as opposed to, hey, I want to try this new stuff with Dead of Night here, because I think that's, you know, it's just new, I want to test it out. Um, of course, you have to give up Whirlwind, so your melee attacks are kind of unsafe. You can kind of use Reaper for get a Whirlwind, you know, just, just get away there. Um, can't really pick up Lightfoot, we gotta have Commanders. Not sure if it was obvious enough, but I, I th th there are games where you have to, you know, set up an Overwatch cone each time you you want to go on Overwatch with everybody, and I, I hate this mechanic so much. It's such a dumb mechanic. Anyway, um, that little rant aside, what are we doing here? 
So let's say, let's say I want to use Dead of Night, but with melee. There's nothing in the XCOM role that really helping me. Maybe, maybe, oh, was five intelligence points to restore one NS action point. So this is kind of nothing for yourself. Don't do this to me. Hunter's Inst... This is... Center Mars, Hunter's Inst... So... Shooting Shinobi, right? Just to, to uh, say that. Is basically the idea of... You have Hit and Run, you have Rapid Fire. That's three attacks per turn. All of these attacks get plus three bonus damage from Center Mars and Hunter's Instincts. And if you have some bonus AP to spare... Um, you pick up... Lightning Hands and Fanfire... Because Center Mass and Hunter's Instincts are gun related, are not limited to your primary weapon, so your pistol shots will benefit from that. Okay, but I've done this a thousand times before, and even though that XCOM row is really telling me, hey, you know, this is cool, um, I think I want to I try out Dead of Night. And I guess, uh, no, Ring of Honor does not work for my sword. So it does not synergize with Dead of Night. Okay, let's, let's see here. Uh, gotta pick a Blade Master. Um, more mobility to actually reach targets from outside of, of range would be nice, but I think we gotta have combatters. So few people that have that right now. 15 crit chance to crit damage or 15 aim and crit, basically, and reduce detection range. I actually think Shadowborn, because that makes scouting so much easier. Um, the Having higher aim also means you don't get penalties to your crit chance from being below 100% aim. Which then translates to a higher crit chance, which translates to higher crit damage just from Dead of Night. I, I don't think I'm gonna... It's gonna be a huge difference here with the missing crit chance from Cutthroat. Alright, then... Bladestorm had some value in the mission just now. Did it though? I just can't see situations where we, you know, we're starting outside of vision range. We activate Reaper. We slash some some poor sort and get the full Dead of Night bonus. End our move there in a full cover position, hit fate, and then go for the second reaper target, again with 100% crit chance. So, screw Bladestorm, get reaper and get dead of night. Okay, and then the XCOM row, I guess we pick up Scouting Report once you reach Master Sergeant. Or we pick up Scrounger now and maybe Deep Cover. I don't know. Packmaster is useless. This is, all, this is all useless if we're not shooting. It hurts my soul to not use... To not turn you into a shooting shinobi, but I want to try out this new, this new uh, spec here. Um, Alright. This is the wrong thing. Here, resistance management. Oh, it doesn't show up as liberated. I need to go to the world map first. August 24th. 
Australia liberated. All right, we can throw everybody on supply. We know there's no faceless left here. At least I hope there's no faceless left because technically when we had the retaliation, we only had 13 people on the mission, even though we have 14 people in the haven because we had an overfull haven. And if that one extra person can be a faceless, then screw this game. Um, but anyway, we can put an engineer in here, significantly boosting our income. Wonderful, wonderful. Get a side transmitter mission here. Now the excess strength. God, I should have paid attention more. I think we were at nine here, so at least one point went over there. Eight days until that expires. Now I'm fairly certain um, that there might have been some changes to Captain Petrock's classes that I haven't applied yet, haven't respect yet. Let me actually we can do that after the the next mission. I think. I don't think we're gonna start infiltrating anything here because um as much as I like having two strong liberated regions, we're a little bit short on regions where we can run missions in. We've got New Mexico. Uh, yeah. I've and we're gambling on Indonesia. Discoveries, Commander. And I think we got it. We gotta go for plasma now. Type of sword shotgun. Oh, this gives you a shotgun kind of weapon for the mech. Talking about shotguns and max. I will make that our highest priority. Uh, where's my where's my going ground? Uh, we still have a scrapper waiting here to become an assault mech. Uh, we can continue training here. Train you on fire discipline. Any other officer that needs more training? Nope, not at the moment. Cool. I saw an option here for bond training. Level 2 bond for any? Sure. I don't think we have three Master Sergeants currently available. Well, if I pull you out of the Haven, we would have. Huh. I think there's there's some value to that. That value being, hey, we can, can attack the hunter. Um, it's gonna take 13 days, which would line up up quite nicely with plasma tech. So we could go there like the day plasma finishes, we we queue up the hunter stronghold. Uh, let's make just sure that we actually have somebody in there looking after the poor rebels. It's a big commitment. We only have three master sergeants and send them all out on, on the covert action here. Uh, you should still have equipment from the HQ. You have equipment from... Being a Haven advisor, you have equipment from just being on a, a court action. 
Yeah, you know, if we get ambushed, I don't have any concerns. They they can handle themselves. My followers will lead this action to victory. Reading you loud and clear. New regional contacts located. So you would come to strike at me. I eagerly await your arrival, Commander. Is this our first Warlock region? Yeah, so we just discovered the Warlock. Lovely to see you. Not so lovely to hear, hear you. Um, Alright. Floor Haven Advisor in there. Strength free. Fantastic. We can actually, we can actually run missions there. Beautiful. Everything's coming up XCOM. And yeah, and we can again go through in India, into East Africa. And actually get to the black side. Um, cool. Let me just check my buildings. So I think after the next supply drop, we probably need to start building some stuff again. Get a resistance comms up. Also should probably consider a um, defense matrix at some point. Did get a and what corpse? Bio faceless corpse, but I don't see anything super interesting we can do with that here. Did do the research for this, right? Sorcerer autopsy, so let's get a vortex grenade. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Let's get damage control. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's lip free over in New Mexico. New Mexico just went to strength four. It's not the one that gives me an extra contact. Instead, it's a destroy the relay in the subway. Um. As much as I would like an extra contact, I guess we still have a contact tree and we don't have intel to make contact because we need network towers. Let's get this get this lip done, then we can get another network tower here. Setting course for the Mexican regional tract. Alright, which squad is ready? With seven people available here. Alright, um, since before the HQ I removed all gear from everybody, this is going to take a, a second or two longer. Or else I can move Heron out of the Haven to actually have the full, full squad available here. So let me just do a quick pause here and I'll bring you back in once I have that squad set up. And here we are back with the squad fully loaded out. Now we're cutting a little bit close of infiltration and we could go with six people and over infiltrate, but you know what? Seven people on a subway map, 13 to 15. Um, I think that's definitely doable and more XP along everybody here. Um, now I'm fairly certain I was looking at the um, most recently changed mods on Steam and I know the scout was changed about a week ago, and I'm actually not sure if I picked up that that most recent uh, change. So I think we're just gonna throw in a change here and see if something was changed. Actually, I, don't, I might have already picked up that change. So, you know, I'm just, just gonna keep everything as it was. Uh, with 
you know, trying to turn them into a hunter. Now, I'm not sure if I lost something in the XCOM row. Sidearm Wraith. <sighs> yeah, um, or if there's something better, I guess if we're tur turning into a wannabe hunter, then I maybe should give you a prototype plus my auto long rifle. Laser sight for crits. And you don't have running on empty yet, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, something like that. Well, um, yeah, subway map. We'll see how that goes. We do have the close range um, flamethrower here, so I think that's gonna be super good. some reason I thought you were waiting for like plus two damage and all attacks. No, that was somebody else. Um, yeah, we pick up fire and steel. Why haven't we picked that up yet so far? What the hell? And we have uh, 30 AP here. I was looking at that actually. So it's like, yeah, we've got blinding protocol and you can pick up aid protocol, but I kind of, I want to be shooting with you and not use gremlin abilities. Then again, it's not like you have anything else going for you down here. And, you know, especially blinding has such good utility. Sure, let's pick those up. Uh, anything else? Yeah, that's all kind of, I don't want to say trash, but uh, not really what I'm looking for. All right, send that squad on the way. Sky Ranger, deep squad green to deploy. Um, now this thing here, that was what? Counter dark event. Sabotage transmitter in a Ben city. Oh god. Oh god, I have, you know, sabotage transmitter missions in an abandoned city just to cause all sorts of negative flashbacks to show up for me. Um, so I did pull the wrong person here out of a haven. So Andy is supposed to stay in here. Also, uh, I, it looks like I stole your armor. And then um, get somebody in here. I oh, just move, gave away your, your rifle. If any more plasma grenades that I can give you, oh, no. Well, I guess regular grenade for a faceless mission should be more than enough. Right, so, um, I did that because I was scanning here to find new missions, so I let that scanning site with William and Alice expire. Fantastic, great job. I was looking at it before finishing contact, and I'm like, oh, man, don't let that expire. And then after finishing contact, I'm like, oh, new region. Got to scan here to find some good missions right away. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. All right, we've got an assault mech. Uh, not much to look at there just yet. Um... I forgot to change you into the proper stance, so you're not turtle in turtle mode here, but I guess that it is what it is. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I'm probably going to be playing on Assault Mech just like an Assault, with extra conditioning and killer instincts, impulse for extra aim after move, beat this for close range thing bobs. I mean, takedown would be interesting for some mobility options, but we'll see. And then it's probably just going to be lightning reflexes. 
into whatever. To charger, something like that. Now, when I mark down, you know, the selection, please keep in mind that this is like five seconds here to quickly uh, overview that. When I actually do the promotions, I look at all the options again. Like, don't don't nail me on this when people write like two pages long paragraphs about why this was a bad choice. And then, yeah, okay, but it's, you know, it's just a rough plan. This is not set in stone. There might be a patch changing the class and, and fully there might be a change of mind. Maybe that person never reaches this rank. Anyway, moving on. Now a true test of your allies' devotion to the cause. Will they waver in the face of death? Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the Chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. All right, Sabotage Transmitter, Abandoned City, 10 to 12 enemies only, but we also only have five people here, but we have a Geneva to deal with the Lost, we have a Shredder, this time actually with a good shotgun, and our Skirmisher here to deal with all the enemies, and then those two to also help out. All right, we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.